Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Outlast. So, anyways, my hard drive fried, and I had to get a new one, and because of that, right now I'm playing Outlast instead of Assassin's Creed 4, because I'm still downloading that game. That game is huge, and it takes a while, so I decided, in the meantime of waiting, why not play this? A scary game. And apparently, I've heard a lot of people say that this is actually scarier than Amnesia. I'm not entirely sure about that, because Amnesia scared the crap out of me. So, I guess there's only one way to find out. And that is by playing this game. So, we get here. Basically, as you can see by that press thing, we are kind of a journalist or reporter or whatnot, and we are coming here to investigate the odds going on. Because apparently some insane psychopaths had broken out. If you want to read this, you could pause it and go ahead and read it. But some people broke out of this facility, killing most of the guards and whatnot, and so then they sent in some military people, and those people haven't returned. And so now we're going in to investigate, because... It makes for a great story. <laughs> Press. Official. I am official. Apparently my name is Mike. Whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's night vision. That's basically our flashlight. Instead of having, like, the oil and whatnot for our lantern and amnesia, we have batteries for our camera. J for journal. That's great. Close that. So, this is our little... I can't go in here. It's invisible wall. There we go. That was weird. Whatever. There's nothing in here. What's the point of... There's no point. Alright. Whatever. Whoa. Okay, I guess we're locked in. Oh, there's a thing there. Coming. Oh, there's chains. So I guess we have to go through this door. Hold left mouse. Or press it quickly. There we go. So we can either open the door slowly or I guess we can slam it open. Oh, right mouse for camera. Ah, sweet, and I can zoom. Oh, we wrote a note. If we want to read it. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened again by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of the charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. So that must be like those trucks, the jammer, yeah, the jammer trucks. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit, a charity. But never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could do with this place has to be big. Might finally be a story that breaks the bastards. Oh, so we're going after this company. We're trying to, like, shut them down. That's pretty awesome. Mount Massive Asylum. So it closed, and then was reopened, and then yeah, everybody's dead. <laughs> and these are the jammers that he was talking about. I wish I could just hop into here and shut them down, because chances are I'm going to get into trouble, and I'm going to need some help. I'd imagine, anyway. I mean, this place looks like death. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, not death isn't a reaper, but yeah. People are going to be tearing each other's heads off in this place. You can just tell by looking at it. Oh, here we go. Crouch. Oh, yeah. And I'm guessing we go to the light first. You know, that's normally how it works in games. When there's a bright light over something, that's where you gotta not go. Because that would be too easy, right? Oh, whoa, what? What? All right, I'm on a tree. <laughs> that was interesting. The camera recorder, you can zoom in and out. Oh, real? Oh, look, an open window. That's why it was telling me to do that. Ah, yes. Climbing the ladder. You know, that was a really good climbing animation. I've seen games where when you climb up a ladder, you're basically missing every step with your hands and stuff. It looks really funny. But that one was just spot on. And now we go up into the window. Oh. Alright. With a place like this, you'd expect some electrical problems. Nothing to fear. There's a toppled wheelchair in a picture? That's just kind of weird. That picture's broken. I guess we go through this door. Open sesame! A to 18. 
and a 250. I wonder if we're gonna get a map and we'll have to like navigate the numbers and stuff to get through the halls. Oh wait, is there something over? Nope. All right, okay. I bet you we're gonna have to like navigate the. Whoa! Hello. Whoa! Do you hear that? It's like the television's making weird alien noises. Oh, now it's making weird ghost noises. It's like. <laughs> Open sesame. A215, 218. So we're in the A's of 200s. We, we might want to remember that. I don't know if it'll be of use, but maybe it will. Ooh, battery. So I'm guessing that's for our night vision. Yeah, when I use my night vision, if you saw that, my battery went down a little bit, so. Yeah. Hmm. Confidential, eh? Just go ahead and read that. Therapist dad is pain. I don't. You know what? Tell you what. If you want to read these things, you can pause it and whatnot. I'll bring them up every single time that I find one, but I'm not gonna read them. It's too boring. <laughs> That's just me. Whoa. Plus, it would just make the series too long, and I'm dyslexic, so not a very good reader. <laughs> I guess we're coming to here. Cola. Drink it! Yes, please. It's all the same flavor? That's stupid. I've never seen a vending machine with only one flavor. And that looks like a different flavor! Oh. No, it's probably the same thing. It's just the buttons are white, but that thing's all blue and whoa. I need to stop zooming in. I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. Press spacebar and push up to get into the vent, like you just did. Whoa. Oh, that was the guy that was in the bathroom. Now it all makes sense. Cobwebs? Yeah. Just... <laughs> I hate getting cobwebs. And like your face and eyes and stuff and your hair. It's horrible. Library. Oh, jeez lord. You know... When I go when I when I go into a library, I don't expect that to happen. And he's headless. That's great. Oh look, I wonder if we can make him swing. Dang. He barely swung at all. How lame. Would you shut up music ambienceness? Very loud. Oh, I wonder if I can climb the But there's this thing up here. I guess I can't climb the bookshelves. Dang it. Seemed like it would be fun to do. Oh, come on. I wonder if this battery is around here. Move it. <laughs> nope. Alright. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Alright. <laughs> He's still alive. Chicago. And this flies everywhere. Oh. That could be why. That could be why. From security control. Unlock the main doors from security control. I'm on it. Wish me luck. Fuck out of this terrible place. Well then why'd I come in? Why don't I just go backwards and leave? Oh yeah, I'm a journalist. I'm an idiot. <laughs> the press needs what they want. Whoa, what was that? Did you see that? He just walked into that room. Can you hear my poor guy? He's like... I'm gonna have a heart attack. Let's go in here. Whoa. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a there's an arm in the toilet. So that just happened. Uh, can we go away from him? Nope. Dang it. Let's just come into here. Nope. Dang it. Let's just go into here. You know, why do I even bother? <laughs> Obviously wants me to go here. It's the only way to. Oh, oh, that was the guy I saw. Oh, like I seriously am gonna have some extreme back pains when I wake up. Wakey, wakey me. Whoa, hello. And who are you then? I'm a YouTuber exploring this asylum. A press YouTuber, actually. We gotta get the story out there. I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. An apostle? Guard your life, son. So is he you some kind of priest or something? Apparently. 
I have a calling. Cause I am a superhero. Static shock. Oh jeez, don't cut yourself on that glass. Alright. Shake that off, man. Just shake it off. And proclaim the gospel. As that sign says right there. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we gotta find the security room or whatever and open up the main doors because clearly they are shut. There's no way through that. <laughs> oh, beeping like. So, I guess this is a good stop, good stopping point. So, I hope that all of you have enjoyed. If you like this video, click the like button or leave a comment and do subscribe. And if you want to read this, here you go. It's a little parting gift. There you go. Just pause it whenever you're... Responsibility. Yep. I have a lot of responsibility in this place.